Hi out there. Let me welcome you once again to your weekly behavioral tonic, the behavioral health articulation, packaged by the School of Articulation and Behavioral Alignment Clinics, also known as the Saba Clinics. My name is James Komolafe. I coordinate the Saba Clinics, and it is all about articulation and behavioral alignment for full expression. Today we have a very special topic titled Understanding Personal Equilibrium for Behavioral Health and Wholeness. In other words, how to recognize and attain the daily balance through behavioral health skills and competence. You will recall in the previous episodes we studied the various causes of behavioral ill health among many, the climb notwithstanding. We would like to go a step further today to introduce and define the concept of behavioral health giving personal equilibrium. In the behavioral health articulation, you are either defining your daily equilibrium by skill or caught in the web of daily disequilibrium. Talking about the daily equilibrium on a personal note, three keys are very integral. One, you need the capacity to discover the power of your personal articulation who you are for what you do. Two, you need to understand the fact that life is a product of appreciation. You discover yourself, then make up your mind to develop yourself. Three, you need to know that purposeful contribution makes meaning in service. So, don't only discover yourself, develop yourself so that you can go ahead to deploy your service as a matter of contribution and not just mere accumulation. So let me ask you a question. What value are you building or creating? What's the level of your personal awareness? Where is the place of your personal service, contribution? You need to shift your position today from looking for how to solve personal challenges to addressing a specific cause for which you are wired in life. And you know what? Your perception and perspective matters a whole lot in this. If you must define your daily personal equilibrium in life, the way you see it will always affect the way you do it. So behavioral health bears credence to what you do or refuse to do in order to attain wholeness in life and productivity. Vibration is key. But definition in distinctive works is most fundamental. So what skills have you built for the daily balance in life and at the workplace? To discussing the question of personal daily equilibrium, which every man must achieve and attain per day, brings me to picking a vital lesson from my banking career many years ago. Any day I close without arriving at a balance in the books and in the accounts will always leave me at a disequilibrium on a personal note. So what do I notice for seven symptoms of that disequilibrium 
at that time. One, I used to lose my emotional balance. Nothing appeals to me. At that time, I will become very unstable. My happiness and joy is often short-lived and truncated. Nothing else will captivate my attention. I used to lose my peace and forfeit my satisfaction. My mental state was always a gloomy one, coupled with low vibration. I would lose my originality, having lost my flow within. So because of the void within, a sense of inferiority descends heavily. In the same vein, any individual who goes to bed without defining and achieving the daily equilibrium issue will easily be trapped in behavioral ill health. So what are the seven ways by which you can define your daily equilibrium for behavioral health and wholeness? One, your place of personal equilibrium is a position where your personal articulation finds alignment with your powers. So in effect, your personal articulation which are your properties inside out, lines up with your powers outside. So what are your properties? They are evident in your consignment, who you are, your equipment, what you have, and the assignment, what you do. These are the three forces of your articulation. How about your powers? Your powers are the constituent factor of your intuitive person, your intelligence, and your interaction. It's also from the inside to the outside. When you find harmony between your properties and your powers, then you define your balance. Two, Defining your daily equilibrium for behavioral health and wholeness is a place where your reality as a person harmonizes with your abilities in the relevant activities. Wow! That is personal harmony, first class. Three, personal equilibrium results when you own your own you hone your talent and competencies and deploy from within for veritable works without. That is where the demand for your service equates the supply factors for such service. It is the place of your perfect feet, hook, line, and sinker. No seams. Four. Personal equilibrium is where your gift, competencies, and talents balance up with what you do to produce the cost for which you are born on a joyful note. Wow, I like that. Whether as a crisis or process, there's always a sense of arrival when you hit personal equilibrium on that note. Number five. Personal equilibrium is a state where the energy of your conviction generates the passion for relative vibration in massive action while creating the necessary intervention and critical solutions to challenges in the society. Number six, when you can balance your responsibility with your level of authority without being either autocratic or weak 
in your leadership style, you experience personal equilibrium. Herein, deposit within equates delivery without. The flow content finds the flow construct. Last but not the least, as to defining your place of daily equilibrium, is your capacity to find harmony in your comportment. What you carry as a person with the ability you convey for that activity that you complete. There's always a completion. Otherwise, you don't talk about balance per day. So three things are important here. What you carry, what you convey, and of course, what you complete. So what's the last line here today? Equilibrium position is required on a daily note. Whether as an individual or an organization, you need to line up your activity with your various levels of ability in your daily realities. When you do anything outside what you are wired for, for a concept or a mandate for an organization, you put yourself on edge and thus become trapped in behavioral ill health. So let me ask this question in closing. Can you as an individual or institution now define your place of personal equilibrium and take position now? Well, for your comments, input, questions, and other issues on personal equilibrium, please feel free to send us a mail today. Sabaclinics at gmail.com is our email address. Remember, the behavioral health, your ultimate gateway to full expression, is our most valuable passion. In the next episode, we would like to study on why the disequilibrium in the first place. Thank you so very much. Please feel free to share this piece everywhere. See you next time and bye-bye.